Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you something really cool. It's going to how you can use static blocks on category pages. Um, it's really nice and easy. It's pretty cool. It shouldn't take that long to show. Let's go to furniture here. Uh, like I said, this is the demo store if you're new to these tutorials. So uh, here we have some stuff, and we have some grid products. Uh, but let's say you want to have a block of something different, maybe like a slideshow, or just some images or text or anything you want here. Um, you could have just that, or you could have this and that, or you could have anything you want. So let's go to the admin section of the site, and then we'll get started, okay? Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go to our catalog and then our manage categories. If you recall, this is where you set up your categories. As, as you see on the home page, we have furniture, electronics, apparel, tutorials. Let's click on our tutorials one, and let's click over here to see what that looks like already. Okay, it looks like we just have this grid of products. So. If you'll notice here under uh, display settings, you see display mode, and this is products only. Uh, so if you click on this, you'll see what some other display modes are. There's static block only and static block and products only. So let's click static block only, and then let's select a uh, test block, because this is one we had made before. And uh, is anchor, nope. And let's save this category, okay? Okay, now let's refresh our page and see what we have at the top here. As you recall, we only selected the uh, the block here, and all you're getting is this test, 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 because that's what we had made. So now if we wanted to have both of those, we could actually say static block and products. Okay, so if you want to change what type of products are there too, you can also uncheck this use config settings and you could have a particular one for this or you could change it all in config. Um, you could sort product or the default product listing sort by uh, price to have the, you know, the, the top ones or the cheapest ones at the top or name. And if you also wanted to available products uh, listing sort, you wanted to give them basically the chance to only sort by certain ones, you could do that here or you could just uh, use all available attributes. So that's pretty cool. Um, if we select this is anchor right here and then save this, and now we'll refresh our page, it'll show all of the products here that are listed in this category. So if you see, they'll say there's two Magento tutorials and the format. So you could actually have all these other sorting options here. If we uh, check is anchor no, it, those are going to go away. Let's check no, save it back, and you'll see they're gone. So it's actually nice to have those for your main categories so that your uh, customers can sort through your products nice and easily. Uh, but if that's not style, if that's not what you want to do, then you know by all means, don't do it. Okay, now this is how you add a static block to the top of your products. Um, as you can see, you can have or remove these. You can do whatever you want. If you want to write this whole page, the content of this stuff, add some more images or text or whatever, um, you can do that as a static block and then choose to print that static block right here. Okay? Well, this is how you add a static block in top of your categories. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the video. Hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking, all right? Cool. All right, thanks for watching.